So simple lower body yoga sequence. Just some really simple stretches at a nice low level. I'll show you a couple of progressions at the end, but don't feel like you have to take them. If you want to stay basic, you can, and progress when you feel ready. I'm going to video this as a series. So each week, I'm going to give you a slightly more complicated routine to do. You can either add it on to what I'm giving you today, or you can just pick and choose what you want to do from one exercise to the next. Uh, or you can just turn it into one huge yoga session. My idea being that you can go and do an hour or five, ten minutes. It's entirely up to you with how much time you've got and how much time you want to spend. Um, and you can allow as your body grows into the yoga to explore where you can and can't move. Obviously, always listen to your body. Just go with a gentle pull. This isn't about pushing as hard as you can, getting as deep as hard as you can, seeing how fast you can get into the splits. This is about just using and listening to your body sensibly to slowly progress your body and relax the muscles so you develop your body's overall mobility and flexibility, not just that of an isolated muscle, okay? So, routine one. Really, really simple. I like to mobilize by standing to start with. We call this mountain pose. It's where all yoga base positions are based. Just take your feet to hip width from mountain pose for the purpose of this first video. Shoulders drawn back, tummy drawn in, and chin engaged. Long straight spine. Now ideally what I'd like you to do is engage your abdominal muscles and breathe through your ribs. Try and keep the shoulders depressed but drawn down when you breathe. The breathing is an addition. It doesn't have to be the entire focus of this. This can just be good stretching. You inhale, shoulders stay drawn down. You bend your knees. Exhale to your thighs, inhale, and come down. Simple, right? Inhale, bend the knees, my spine is nice and straight. Exhale, inhale, come back and down. Your progression, inhale. This time I'm gonna come a little bit deeper. I come to my knees first and slide to my shins into flat back position. My legs are nice and long. If you've got hypermobility, go and lock them. My spine is straight and I can feel the pull in the back of my legs and in my spine. And I bend my knees and I inhale. Then I'm gonna progress it a little bit further. So I bend. I straighten, now I bend again, but this time I come to the floor. I re-straighten if I can, or keep the knees bent if you need to. Bend the knees, and stand. Then when you come back into a kneeling lunge. So you come down, come into flat back, hands on shins, shoulders drawn and chin tucked. Come to the floor, hold your hamstring stretch, pressure through the toes and the heel. And you just step one leg back into a lunge. So my hands are staying on the floor, my body weight is over my thigh. Then I'm gonna lift my chest up, but I'm gonna pull my tummy in I'm trying to have the knee behind the ankle. I'll show you from the side in a second. My toe is still tucked under and I can feel the pull here. Then I come back down. I step in. I bend my knees and I inhale. So I bend, straighten, bend, step back. Obviously you can stay in deep lunge if you prefer, or come up, chest up, tummy tail, feel it on the back leg. If you want to make it deeper, tuck the back toes under, like that, so you're pushing into the floor. So you're getting a pressure, like you're wedged between the front heel and the back toe. The whole focus is the alignment down, straight line. Then I come back in. 
I lift up, I step up, I bend, and I round. Come up into your hip flexor twist. Make sure you're feeling it here. And we're just going to lean to the side. By all means, hold on to here if you want to. You should feel a strong stretch down the outside. We're trying not to let that hip sway out. Come back in. Come into your deep lunge on the floor. Step to fold. This time I'm going to round my spine. And inhale. Can add in a hamstring stretch. So you come back into one leg. Gently slide your face down. I flatten my toes in this position to ease in. Remember, you can stay up here if you wish. Come back into your deep lunge. If you want to make it a bit more advanced, you can come down into the inside or elbows into the floor, but I'll video that at a later date. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to straighten our back leg into a deep lunge. And if you can, bring the knee straight up to standing. Press down and inhale. Okay? So roll and lower. Step and inhale. I reach. I pull back, I step forward, I straighten my back leg, brace my hands, and I bring the legs straight through into standing. Got one more move for me. Inhale, straight spine, release. Stop if you need to, or straight up. This time, fold the leg, draw the toes, open the hips, chest up. I prefer to rest on my thighs, but you can take the arms back above your head if you wish, or I like clasp behind. Stand up, and reset. And that's it, that's gonna be the first part of your full yoga standing flow. It's about activation of the back, hips and legs. So it can be quite advanced. I'm sweating and I've done nine minutes, 11 seconds. You can go much slower than I did. You could hold each stretch for 30 to 60 seconds or longer. Or you can just go with your breath. So you inhale with one move, exhale with the next, which will take you about five to 10 seconds per movement. And then I would suggest that you repeat it if you're doing it per breath. So you're looking at the kind of three to five repetitions as a minimum. So you're overall spending 30 to 60 seconds in each stretch over the whole routine, rather than just spending 30 to 60 seconds per static stretch. Any questions, file them across to me. If you need some help with it, by all means, send me over some videos. I'll try and get through any of them that I can uh, and give you some individual feedback. Um, have fun, let me know how you get on. I will aim that every Wednesday, 
I'm going to film a new routine for you, which can be an addition or standalone. Have fun.